Hi, this is Brittany Madison, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Okay, now I'm blowing now blow Okay, this. sorry. Yeah. I'm Brittany Madison, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, it looks like uh, UFC fighter Nate Diaz, he's going to try out boxing. He uh, just recently applied for his boxing license uh, in Nevada and California, or at least he applied to fight in those states. So it should be pretty interesting. Now, and the big buzz is who he's most likely going to sign with. And, you know, the assumption right now, a lot of people are speculating that he will most likely sign with the money team, TMT, with Floyd Mayweather because, you know, they've already been talking. Nate Diaz is a big fan of Floyd Mayweather. So it seems like it would be a great fit. And not only that, but with Nate Diaz already been a big star in the UFC, and if he were to sign with the biggest name in boxing, Floyd Mayweather, that alone would generate an enormous amount of buzz in the sport of boxing and the sport of the UFC. So uh, it makes all the sense in the world. I look forward to seeing what he does. Not too often do we get to see UFC or MMA fighters uh, transition over to boxing and actually do it in a successful fashion. Now, and I've seen a couple MMA fighters make that transition from MMA to uh, boxing. And let's just say, man, it wasn't pretty. I didn't seen some of them MMA guys get the shit beat out of them, to be honest with you. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen to Nate Diaz, but I'm just saying what I've seen. You know, I remember, matter of fact, one time it was pretty interesting. I was uh, watching one of my friends fight and on that undercard, it was an MMA fighter, and I think I think he fought, I don't remember, but I think he might have fought Chewy Gutierrez, or maybe it was someone else. I, I don't really remember. But long story short, Randy Couture, this was like his fighter. He was mentoring this guy. And Randy Couture, he was sitting right next to me. We're, we're, we're watching the fight in the front row. Now, once again, I'm going to say it was Chewy Gutierrez, but it was funny because while Chewy Gutierrez was fighting this MMA guy, Chewy, you know, all of his fans that are watching the fight, they're talking all this shit, like, you know, beat his ass, send him back to MMA, you know, and just calling him weak and basically just saying all of this stuff because once all the fans found out that this was MMA versus boxing, they were just ripping the MMA guy. And long story short, Guterres, uh, he ends up knocking out the MMA guy. And the, the MMA guy, he was undefeated, by the way, as a boxer. But, you know, he was fighting against a pretty good, a pretty decent uh, prospect at the time in Chuy Guterres. But I have to say, it was just so funny looking at Randy Couture's face as these fans threw every insult in the book at this MMA guy just because of the rivalry of boxing versus MMA. And Randy Couture, he just had to sit there and just listen to all of it. It was interesting. But going back to Nate Diaz, man, uh, you know, I think as long as, um, you know, he gets signed with the right team, they could build up his career. They're not going to obviously throw him in there with the Wolves so he can get acclimated to boxing and, you know, understand how different it is compared to MMA and and that's not to suggest that Nate doesn't already know about boxing because I already know that he he spars with boxers quite often but that's still not the same thing as doing it as a full-time gig so or or training for an actual professional fight and not just sparring for an MMA fight so I mean now you you know he's going to be sparring with more professional boxers and it should be interesting man it should really be interesting to see how he does who knows now we've already heard that uh conor mcgregor he got his license as well who knows maybe we'll see them do a rematch in a boxing ring that would be pretty interesting so you know a lot of possibilities but that's pretty much all i got for now guys i'm on to the next one this is bobby and you're watching dante's boxing nation